Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. You're watching Dark Roots Creations, and this is my Mr. Francie Reads book tag. I actually originally watched this on Stormy from Storm Reads channel. Um, I don't even know if I was friends with Mr. Francie at the time. I am now, so I will link both of their videos in the description box below. Prompt number one, M for magic. If you could have one magical ability that you read about in a book, which would it be and what book did it come from? This would be the gift of healing. Um, this was the gift that Anastasia Donovan had in Charmed, which was book three in the Donovan Legacy series by Nora Roberts. I thought about this book. I have I have read it years ago, but I think about it often because I liked that she had to take her energy to heal people and then it like drained her after so she actually had to rest. I don't know, I kind of think that that just like made a lot of sense in terms of like this gift that she had. So prompt number 2 R for rebinding. Do you have any books that need to be rebound? Or replaced due to age and decay. Uh, yeah, probably. I still have all of my original old Babysitters Clubs books from the, when they first came out in the 80s and some of them have been like read so many times that they're falling apart. The covers are taped together. Pages are all ruined. So um, the only way I would want to get like a perfect copy like replaced is if they could still be like the old school covers which I don't even know if you could find that anymore. Prompt three F for first book. What is the first book you completed since beginning your booktube channel or if you don't have a booktube channel what is your first book read? So I went back and looked at this and this was Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover, which I absolutely love, and I gave five stars. Prompt number four, R, for romance. Name two romance books you've read, one you enjoyed and one you did not. So both books will be by Nora Roberts. The five star book is Hideaway. And this was about a girl named Caitlin Sullivan, who's like Hollywood royalty. She was kidnapped as a child, escaped. Um, she had some other ordeals where she had to put somebody in prison. Um, she was in Ireland for a while. Now she's back in Los Angeles and her family is trying to protect her still. So I don't want to give too much away, but hide away by Nora Roberts. And the other book by Nora Roberts that I did not like, I gave two stars to, and that was being generous, was Blythe's Images. And this is about a small town girl named Hillary who's going to become a model. And Brett, who's this big like magazine mogul. And um, in the typical 80s way that Nora Roberts wrote a lot of her books, it's like, he kind of like shits all over her and she kind of takes it because she's just small town and he's so powerful. And, um, I've said this before and then, and this fits so many of the books and then like something will, she's had enough or there's some misunderstanding and they go their separate ways, but you know, he'll show back up and you know, like she's a stupid girl. They're getting married, of course, like that type of thing, which I find so annoying. So that would be one that I did not like. Sorry, I had to go and grab a book. For prompt number five is A, first letter in the alphabet. Find a book that begins with the letter A that is on your bookshelf now and show us. So just got this book recently and this is Atomic Habits by James Clear. And this is packed with evidence-based self-improvement strategies that will teach you how to design habits that work for you rather than against you. So we will see how this goes. I haven't read it yet, but it starts with a name. Number six, N, not for me. 
Name the last book you DNF'd. I know there's gonna be a little bit of controversy behind this one, but that would be A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This is the first book in the Shades of Magic series. Tried to read it a few times, couldn't really get that far into it, like not even 100 pages each time I was, like the premise sounds good, I just did not get into them at all, so. I let it go, so. Sorry for anybody that loves it, but I did not. Prompt number seven, C for cover. Show us a beautiful or not so beautiful book cover. I'm gonna pop it up right here. And this is The Rise of Magics by Nora Roberts. And this is number three in the Chronicles of One. I just, I've always loved the design of this and that's it, that's my beautiful cover. Prompt number eight, why? You only live once. Name a book you want to read before you die. This would be Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. This is number two in the Alex Stern series. And I just need to know what happened to Darlington, what's going on with him. That's it, that's the whole reason why. Prompt number nine, R for rewind. Name a book or series that you would love to go back to and reread again. I'm not a big rereader, but a book from my childhood that I would go back and read now is Butterfly by Katherine Harvey. This is about a girl who has had a bunch of shit done to her and um, the story of all of that stuff and kind of the how she turns things around for herself. So. Uh, and like the interesting way that that happens, or at least it was back then. I would love to reread it now to see what I would think of it now as an adult. Prompt number 10, E for extras. Show us, a new, show us a novella that you read that was connected to a series you love. This would be Criminally Coco by Amanda Flower. This is three and a half in the Amish Candy Shop series. Uh, one of the reasons I like this one is because it doesn't take place in Harvest and it's told from the point of view of the um, Charlotte, I cannot think of the main character's name, but Bailey, Bailey. Um, this is Charlotte is Bailey's Amish cousin and this takes place in New York so it's from Charlotte's point of view and I really like that. Prompt number 11, A for Abracadabra. Make this your own prompt. Tell us your favorite or least favorite genre and then your favorite or least favorite book in that genre. I enjoy a bunch of genres, but for this one, I'm going to pick thrillers. And a book that I recommend to people that like thrillers all the time is The Last Mrs. Parish by Liv Constantine. I like the different point of views. I like how the whole thing plays out and I love the twist at the end. So if you're into thrillers, go read The Last Mrs. Parish. Prompt number 12, D for dust jacket. Take a dust jacket off a book and show us how it looks without it. Since this book is right here in front of me, I'm gonna take this off and I think it's gonna be very boring. I don't have all those pretty um, subscription box books, so it is literally, all uh, white, that's it, basic. And prompt number 13, S, so who am I going to tag? I don't like doing this because I don't like to leave people out, but I will tag three people. So first I'm gonna tag, and you can do it or not, I don't, it doesn't matter to me, but if you'd like to, I would love to see your video. So first is Tiffany from the Beach Bum Bookworm. Second is going to be Johara from The Witchy Reader. And third is going to be Hannah from Buggy Reads. So that's it. That's the tag. If anybody else wants to do it, tag your it. I'd love to know your answers down below if you don't want to make a video. 
Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.